take advantage of this guide to level your adventure rank in 5 fast methods and you'll be able to unlock more exciting quests. It's easy to miss the most obvious source of experience, especially since the game doesn't even explain it. You might have noticed that in some story missions, you end up fighting in a dungeon. And a dungeon is not a domain, it's a special area that has trials and awards you a generous amount of experience points. In the world map, you can see for yourself that some of these dungeons are locked behind a certain adventure rank level, but quite a few dungeons can be done early and you can earn a lot of experience from completing them. These dungeons are easy and fun to do, although though later on at higher adventure rank levels will be challenging enough and provide an even bigger source of experience. Just keep in mind that these dungeons are not repeatable and are one-time events, but make sure to take your time and look for these icons specifically on your world map. You can't go exploring the world with mediocre gear. Luckily, we have a solution to our problem. Every week, you can fight two special bosses and receive handsome amount of adventure rank experience points along with some fat loot. The first one is Storm Terror or Dwarf who you can fight after beating it for the first time. You can only fight him once per week, but there's a lot of awesome rewards, most importantly, strong artifacts that you can gain from beating him. The second one is Andrus, the King of Wolves. Fighting him is a little trickier, so make sure to bring some food for healing your team. He can also only be defeated once. Both of these bosses not only provide great rewards, but also drop ascension materials, which are needed for unlocking your favorite character's level limit, collectibles, and open world are like peanut and butter, it's impossible to have one without the other. Although in some video games collectibles are used for bragging rights, Genshin Impact puts a strong emphasis on collecting them since you can gain a lot of adventure experience for finding these items. There are currently two collectibles, an Immoculi found in your first starting region of Mondstadt and Geoculi in Liyue region. The best recommendation would be to collect all of an Immoculi in Mondstadt first since not only will you get a lot of experience for turning them in at the Statue of the Seven, but you will also increase your overall stamina. More stamina means faster exploring which results in an increased rate of adventure experience gathering. A lot of activities will require original resin in order to gain materials for leveling your weapons, characters, talents and more. We also know that each 20 original resin you spend, you are always guaranteed a 100 adventure rank experience. Because of how slowly original resin regenerates, you can only collect a total of 180 per day. Once you're out of it, you're presented with two options, either buy more of it with your primo gems or consume fragile resin. Both award the same amount of original resin. The tricky part is that you can only buy more resin with primo gems up to 6 times per day, while fragile resin is very hard to come by. Once you get around to adventure rank level 25, you will notice just how precious original resin becomes and you will want more of it because it's nearly impossible to level up fast without it. The best advice for anyone who is a free to play player would be to spend primo gems instead of fragile resin at least until your adventure rank level 25. With the amount of primo gems you get from chests, quests and other activities, you can easily sacrifice 160 primo gems for a total of 120 original resin per day. This way you will significantly optimize your adventure rank leveling. If you're confused from the amount of ways you can level up your adventure rank fast, there's one solution that's very easy to follow. Use your adventurer's handbook as a reference for what you should be doing. Obviously, the best way to gain most experience with the least amount of effort is by completing your 4 daily commissions each day. Another great option for fast experience are the world bosses. All of them drop materials needed to ascend your character's level, so you're basically getting crucial items and a whopping 200 adventure rank experience points per kill. Beat the same boss a couple of times within 10 minutes and you already made more experience than one of the story quests will award you. Finally, if you're ever out of ideas where to get more experience points for your adventure rank, it almost never hurts to go for more leyline deposits. It's highly recommended for you to go for more leyline deposits because you might think that you won't need gold in the game because now you're swimming in it, but trust us, in gacha games you will always struggle with money. Just like Fischl struggles when she's fishing for fish. 
fish. In short, your roadmap to successful adventure rank leveling will include easy to miss dungeons, fighting weekly bosses, gathering animoculi in Mondstadt region and using fragile resin responsibly. So when you're at a higher adventure rank, you can cash them in for easy experience. If you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Also, check out our playlist of other Genshin Impact videos which include a tier list that you can also read on our website gotchagamer.com. Thank you for watching us.